Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. My name is Tanaj Nikki, and today I am doing another Walmart haul. This Walmart haul is for summer clothing. So if you're interested in content like this, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you're subscribing, make sure you click the notification bell so you have everything I have coming out here on YouTube. So let's get into it. Okay guys, I'm at Walmart and I plan on kind of focusing on summer fashion dresses in particular, maybe some sundresses or something cute. I've just seen that they have done a pretty good job by some other creators and I, I want to see what I can see in my particular local store. So let's go inside. Keep on driving and driving along the road tonight Lost my head of Hilma's back Between the jars and bottle jug Just me and all the red lights Keep on driving and driving Okay guys, I'm bending down a little bit because the sun. Okay, <laughs> now I racked up. I bought way more than I thought I was going to. I did push myself a little bit and buy things I typically wouldn't buy for the sake of, you know, growth. But there was some good stuff in there and I'm really excited to try it out. So let's go back into the studio and see how it goes. You guys saw all the cool things that are at Walmart. There are a lot of things on clearance right now. The cool thing is particularly where you are in the world, these clothing items can last you a great deal of time. Right now I'm in Atlanta and I know I could wear these items well into the fall, almost October around here. I'm excited to have these pieces around and I'm telling you the quality, the style, I was surprised. So I'm gonna start with this adorable halter that I got from Walmart. It was $20. It was the Madden NYC label and I literally like snatched it because I was like, oh my God, this is, this is so cute. <laughs> this is so cute. First of all, it does not look like Walmart. Where, where do you see this being Walmart? Now I can always tell when something is super popular now when I'm at Walmart looking for things to shop for because there are very few sizes. All the mid sizes are pretty much gone. Like I'm stuck with either extra small or larges. That's how I know when something is really good and that is definitely the case with this. I did end up getting this in a large and Mad at NYC tends to run kind of junior sizing. So this is like an 11 to 13 large so it's kind of medium too i can see where in some places where i would definitely benefit from having a medium versus a large but this is just so cute this was twenty dollars and again for me for walmart that's a but i get it i actually get it because i feel like this is definitely worth it it looks like it came from a boutique this in high heels and flip-flops i mean this is a vacation piece it's a going out piece this is definitely the thing i was most excited about to share with you guys now this little piece right here this is no boundaries i got this in a small three five and for one i will say that i was shocked how much i would like this this does not say anything about me any like no, nothing about this makes me think this is tonight but because I'm pushing myself to go outside the boundaries and also to show you things that you guys might want to see, I picked this up and I am so pleasantly surprised with this. Full disclosure, I've already worn this, like just out and about, 
and it was like the best thing ever. The built-in cups here are very well placed and also thick enough to where I feel like they won't just slide around and be out of place. This dress was approximately $13 and I felt like it was actually worth more than that. Like this can be something that was worth more than the $13 that I paid for. Because of the breathable stretchy material, the 3.5 was actually very comfortable. I feel like a medium actually would have been too big for me, surprisingly. And that's the cool thing when things are stretchy. You can kind of go up or down depending on your comfort level. These are faux buttons and it does have adjustable straps. If you do end up with a larger size or you have a smaller bust, it can make the adjustments. Again, from Walmart, I couldn't be more satisfied. This was a really cute dress that I picked up. It was Madden NYC. Now, I was kind of forced to get it in a large. I do think this would fit me even better in a medium, but they were out. So this is a layered dress that has this really cool, again, 70s funky pattern that's going on and it's bunched and it looks like a cute party dress. I don't know if I would wear this as casually as uh, it might suggest, but this is a really cute dress to pick up. I got it on clearance. It was only $9 when I picked it up and I do believe if you go there now, it might be even cheaper than that. The slip very much makes it a mini dress, but having the sheerness over it that follows, I think that makes it a little bit more modest and more comfortable for I think the average person who's gonna wear it. It does have the support and the bust and I think that that's what makes it again more well tailored. I don't think you guys understand how important having things like that is. It kind of eliminates the idea of pasties or a support bra if you don't need the, the lift that a lot of larger chested people need. But having this built into a little slip dress that you can just wear in the summertime, it eliminates layers. It's just really cute to have. And I was so happy that I was able to find it, particularly on clearance. So this is something Again, I'm stepping outside my comfort zone. These are some black overalls that are no boundaries. I did get this in the medium and they were $13. Now, I feel like this is the cutest, most breathable and relaxed overalls that I've ever owned. I am not a fan of them, but when I tell you this is something that just, it's a vibe that I am excited to be a part of, Definitely so. Like I said, it does have some stretch to it. You can adjust the bunching at the waist and it has pockets pockets. I know that seems like an underrated thing when we're talking about overalls because why wouldn't it? Trust me, there are plenty of overalls outside that do not have pockets, which doesn't make any sense to me. Throw a tank on under here. Um, if you want to be fancy about it, get a collared shirt. There's a lot of ways to style this. And I think for the summertime, this is something I could just have for years to come. Now slipping back to something I am a little bit more familiar with, but I was completely surprised to find at Walmart, is this bodycon dress. It is by No Boundaries and it was $13. You can see the metal detailing here. I will say this, early 2000s and 90s are in full effect. This is it's completely integrated back into fashion. I am pretty excited about the pieces that I see being evolved and this is an example of that. I remember similar dresses being around in the early 2000s, but not this well structured. It reminds me of different dresses from stores like Rainbow or something like that from like 2003. That's immediately what this comes to. But this really cool funky print is something that I think that kind of elevates this bodycon dress for something that is just like a plain bodycon summer dress. Most no boundary items are made of 100% polyester recycled pieces. So they have like this jersey cotton almost stretchiness to them and that's the same material that this is made of. Now this is in a small and no boundaries which reads 3.5. I feel like that was appropriate for my size because particularly when we're talking about anything bodycon you want it to you don't want it to flare or fit loosely. So I did get a small knowing that there was stretch and give and I think it looks great. I had picked up a lot of black and white and I noticed that as I was filling up my cart so I made a concerted effort to get something that was full of color and yeah, this bodysuit came right through. They are actually calling it a cat suit. This is the Madden NYC brand and I got this in a medium 7.9. Now, there isn't as much stretch to it as you would expect. I thought all cat suits meant that you stretch. Apparently not. This is polyester so I don't, again, I expected more stretch than what's there. So honestly, I feel like it would be a little bit more comfortable in a large versus this medium, but I I'm gonna keep it regardless. You see there's a gold detail chain here, the Madden NYC. I thought that was just the cutest thing. Again, no, no, no. 
this isn't Walmart. Immediately when I saw this was one of those, I was like, you all are coming through this time. And I feel like this is one of those pieces where if I told you I got it from Walmart, you wouldn't believe me. This looks like something you can pick up from Shein or Fashion Nova in a heartbeat. And if you style this the right way, no one will ever have to know. It came from Walmart unless you want them to. So I don't have that many pair of shorts, so I was excited to find some at Walmart. This is time and true. And I love now that you see here, it has the length of the end seam. So if you're someone who is comfortable with four inches, you can look and immediately know that that's what that is. And as you can see here, this is 10 inches. This gives a Bermuda short feel. These are actually called a relaxed fit. They hit the same length as Bermuda shorts. This is officially a size six and it's a high rise. So I feel like this is exactly what I'm going for when I'm looking for a short, a little bit longer, a little bit higher and it gives you all the angles that I'm looking for when I'm looking at shorts. The fabric percentage is a 70% cotton, 28% recycled polyester, and 2% spandex. And I'm telling you that 2% spandex comes in clutch for me. I, I am not ready for 100% cotton jeans. I need a little give, I need it to move a little bit, and this is just a little bit that I'm talking about. So you can find them at Walmart if you're looking for them. I did not find that many tops that I was interested in getting, and partially it's because the 90s and early 2000s are back and I just could not bring myself to purchase some of those tops I just it was like middle school was thrown in my face and I just could I, I couldn't and the one that I actually found that I was drawn to and was like yes I'm definitely gonna pick that up this newspaper scrunch tank top this is also no boundaries and a size 35 and I feel like with it being as stretchy as it is or at least how it feels as stretchy because we're learning that polyester and these quantities have been made to look stretchy this was about eight dollars and I do feel like it was worth it just about all the summer pieces that initially came through the first wave are on clearance now so you can probably find this for maybe five dollars and again I would feel like it's even more worth it than to pick something like this up now I often do not buy shoes from Walmart uh, actually I am contemplating pretty hard on going back because they did have clearance on other sandals I believe the original price were 19 and I think I only paid nine dollars for them these are time and true I did get them in a size seven I do tend to get a six or six and a half in flats and these shoes I did get a seven because I feel like they run a little smaller Small. Uh, they do fit rather comfortably. I do like the padding and the memory that's in these shoes and I got them in black because I don't have a lot of flat shoes, and particularly sandals. And so I was trying to beef up my wardrobe with uh, some cute flats that I feel like also went with all of the cute black pieces that I picked up this time around. And since they were only $9, I felt like I couldn't leave them. They do have a small support heel and like I said, it does have the padding here. So these feel like very well supported shoes. That's usually my biggest issue when I'm dealing with flats is I don't have enough support. Um, I have very high arches and flats can actually feel quite uncomfortable if I wear them for a long time. But these seem to have as much support as you can get when we're talking about flat sandals. And these feel really well made. I, I'm very surprised in the quality for them to be quote unquote Walmart shoes. So yeah, I'm here for it and that's why I definitely picked them up. They have all kinds of colors and there are a lot of things that are on clearance right now so I would highly suggest that you pick them up. Last but not least we have this beautiful piece that I'm wearing right now. This is another A-line dress that I picked up that has a lot of cool detail and a cool pattern. I loved it because I have shoes that are all of these colors because that's what I do. One of the things I really do enjoy about this is the back piece. There is a lot of support and detailing. You don't expect to see things like that coming from discount stores. This dress was $13, so again, I do feel like it's very, very much worth the price. I went out to a very fancy dinner in this piece and I did not feel out of place. So getting this from Walmart, again, no one has to know you got it from Walmart unless you tell them. It's made of the same recycled polyester material, so it feels stretchy and it feels like Jersey cotton but it's a mixture of polyester. There are the cut pieces that are in the front that I feel like again are placed in a very secure way to where if I wash this I don't feel like the cups will end up in the back or around the corner you know what I mean. Also the the ruffle detail I feel like adds more dimension to it. Again there's just a lot of little pieces in this dress that I feel like that really makes it worth it. There are other patterns. I saw one in like this lemony yellow pattern. I tend to not go for the very small prints but this was was one that I felt like 
played really well with color and I feel like it's very complimentary to my measurements and body shape. This was a size 35 so again I feel like that little stretch goes a long way. And that you guys is my Walmart summer haul. I'm telling you I really racked up this time even though there was a lot of things that screamed early 2000s, 90s that I wasn't going to touch. I still have some really great gems in here. So all of the cute pieces, particularly from Mad at NYC, you guys look out for that brand. That one is really doing it as far as being the cool hip brand that's hanging out in Walmart these days. So if you enjoy content like this, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you're subscribing, make sure you click the notification bell so you know if I have everything I have coming out here on YouTube. Comment down below which was your favorite piece. I will say I do think my most favorite piece of all is the very first dress that I showed you guys. It's just, it's incredible and I'm so happy that I was able to find it at a Walmart. And share. Sharing with a friend really helps my channel grow. Follow me on social media. I'm at Tanaj Nikki. That is on Pinterest, Instagram, and TikTok. Thank you all for joining me today and I will see you all on the next one. Bye.